Our hymn of the day for the second Sunday of Advent is Comfort, Comfort Now My People, derived from Isaiah 40, which is also the Hebrew scripture lesson for Advent 2. Handel used it in the first three movements of his Messiah. The hymn was originally written for the Feast of St. John the Baptist, who appropriately also makes his appearance in the gospel for the day proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The root of the Hebrew word nachamu, translated as comfort, means a sigh, a strong breath, as when one sighs in relief, and is variously translated as repent, move to pity, compassion, and comfort. The prophet proclaims that soon our hardship will be over. That's our comfort. Johannes Olearius is our author. His father was the pastor of St. Mary's Church in Halle, Germany. He was born into a family of Lutheran theologians, did his master's and doctorate at the University of Wittenberg, famous for Luther's 95 Thesis. He taught theology as a member of the Faculty of Philosophy. After his ordination, he was appointed court preacher to Duke August of Sachsen Weissenfels in Halle, and later to Duke Johann Adolf in Weissenfels. Oliarius wrote a commentary on the entire Bible, published very devotional books, and produced a translation of Thomas Akempis' Imitation of Christ. Comfort Comfort was included with 300 other of his hymns, in one of the most important German hymn books of the 17th century, the Geistliche Singerkunst, which probably looks something like this. He died, still working in Weissenfels, in 1684. Catherine Winkworth provides the English translation. If you love, O sacred head now wounded, or a mighty fortress, think Catherine Winkworth. Born in Holborn in 1829, she spent most of her early life in Manchester. She was renowned for her translations, which first appeared in the Lyra Germanica in 1853. Comfort, Comfort was introduced in 1863 in the Choral Book of England. She honed her knowledge of the language and hymns of Germany while living with relatives in Dresden in 1845. 19 hymns and the evangelical Lutheran worship use her translations. She died suddenly of heart disease at Monetier, France in 1878. The tune, Freud de first appeared in the 1555 Genevan Psalter as the melody for Psalm 42. The composer is Louis Bourgeois whom we all know well as the composer of the Old Hundredth, the doxology. It is possible Bourgeois adapted a secular French song found in the Bayou Manuscript of 1510. The changing rhythm and syncopation of the tune suggests a joyful dance. The three to two ratio is characteristic, especially of Renaissance folk singing.
bourgeois made changes to the hymn tunes, and that didn't sit well with the Puritans of Geneva, so they threw him in jail. In fact, the Calvinist town council even demanded a burning of his work. In 1560, Bourgeois dusted off his shoes, left Geneva, and moved to Paris, where he returned to the Roman Catholic Church, wrote a tirade against his Genevan persecutors, and then he just simply disappears in Paris. <laughs>